I hear a lot of people wanting to give up, not just in life, not just in the stock market, not just in business, but just in general. And I want to help you with something, a story that I read many years ago that I still read at least once a year that gets me fired up. Whenever I want to quit, whenever I wanted to say, you know what, I don't think I can do this. Whenever I want to say, you know what, I am done. The stress is too much, the pain is too much, the work is too much, I'm done with it, I just want to quit. Whenever I feel that way, I read this story. And I'm gonna tell it to you so that you don't even have to read it in the future. All you have to do is push play. Now I'm KD for The Wealth Wells and I train day traders how to be effective in the market while trading live every single day. But guess what? This does not have to only apply to day traders. It applies to anyone. Why? Because I know something about failure. I know something about struggle. I know something about walking to school with holes in your shoes. I know something about not having the latest and greatest to wear. I know something about kids teasing you. I know something about growing up poor. I know something about drug house, crack houses on your same street. I know something about you can't even breathe and run and do the things that other kids can do because you have sicknesses and ailments holding you back. I know something about being broke. I know something about losing a home. I know something about losing many homes. I know something about evictions. I know something about anything you can think of. I know something about repossessions. I know something about divorce. I know something about pressure in life. I know something about wanting to give up. And I'm telling you, when you feel any of these things, I know something about not having any support from anyone that you think you should have and you want to quit. I know something about it. I've been there. So I'm telling you right now, if you're listening to this and you've been through any of those things and you've had any kind of struggle from anywhere around the world, from any color, race, background, whatever, this is for you to have sheer determination. What's going to get you to where you need to be? What's going to push you to the next level? You have to want it and be determined and you cannot allow anyone, not even you, to stop you. You have to. I don't even care if nobody else has done it before. I don't even care if everybody else thinks it's impossible. If you believe it can happen and you've mapped the plan out and you've drawn the plan out and it makes sense to you, you can do it. Now, I'm not telling you to be delusional. I'm not telling you you can jump and hit the moon, but you can jump high enough to scrape the sky. There was a small country schoolhouse and it was heated by an old fashioned pot belly coal stove. This little stove would heat up this little schoolhouse. There was a little boy who had the job of going to the school early each day to start the fire, to warm the school, to warm the room up so that the teacher, the kids, everyone, when they arrived, it was warm. Now that's a noble job, isn't it? For such a young man. I already like him, don't you? One morning when the class and the teachers arrived, they found the schoolhouse engulfed in flames. Panicked, scared, worried, they knew this young man was inside. They dragged the unconscious little boy out of the flaming building. Well, he was more dead than he was alive. He had major burns all over the lower half of his body and he was taken to the nearby hospital there in the country. From his bed, the dreadfully burned, semi-conscious boy, he faintly heard the doctor talking to his mother. Now, the doctor told his mother that her son would surely die, which was for the best, really, because this terrible fire had devastated the lower half of his body. I mean, it was mangled, burned, just terrible. But you know what? This brave boy did not want to die. Why? because he made up his mind that he would survive. Now somehow, to all the doctor's surprise, the boy survived. Now, when the, the, the mortal danger had passed, he again, laying in the bed, he heard the doctor say something to his mother. Speaking very quietly, the doctor told the mother that since the fire had destroyed so much of the flesh on his lower half of his body, it would have been better that he died because he's never going to walk. He's going to spend a lifetime in a wheelchair as crippled. He would not be able to use the lower limbs of his body. He's not going to have any quality of life. But the boy overheard. And what did he do? 
once again. He made up his mind that he would not be a cripple, he would not be limited, and that he would walk. Unfortunately, from the waist down, he had no motor skills, no mobility. He could not do anything at that point. His legs looking like shrapnel, dangling there, very thin, very skinny, and lifeless. Ultimately, they let him go from the hospital, and every day, his mother would work and massage his legs to get the blood pumping, to get the blood flowing. There was no feeling there. He had no control. He had nothing. Yet what? The boy made up his mind. He had determination that he would walk, and his determination was the strongest thing in his body. When he wasn't in bed, he was in a wheelchair. One day, he's wheeled out to the front yard just to get a little bit of air, and this day, instead of sitting there in the wheelchair, instead of crying, instead of moping, instead of saying, woe is me, instead of saying, I can't, I can't, I can't, you know what he did? He threw himself to the floor, to the ground, out of the chair, and pulled himself across the grass, dragging hand over hand, fist over fist. He drug himself across the yard. He worked his way all the way to a picket fence that bordered their lot. And with great strain and effort, he raised himself up the fence. Post by post, stake by stake, he began to drag himself along the fence. Resolved that he would walk. Why? Because he made up his mind that he was going to walk. He started to do this every single day until he wore a smooth trail and path around the fence. There was nothing that he wanted to do more than to develop those legs so that he could run and walk. Why? Because he made up his mind. Ultimately, through the daily massages of his mother, through his iron persistence, his determination, through his ability to make up his mind, he developed the ability to stand. Then, he developed the ability to walk. It was shaky at first, but guess what? He then developed the ability to walk without any assistance. Furthermore, he developed the ability to run. Oh, but the story doesn't stop there, folks. No, 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 no. He began to walk to school. Then he began to run to school. Then he began to run just for sheer joy. Later, while he was in college, he made the track team. Every day he would run and practice and run and practice something that he loved to do, something that he could not do before, something that someone told him he would never do. He's doing now, why? Because he made up his mind. Still later in life, at Madison Square Garden, this young man who was not expected to survive, not expected to live, not expected to stand, to walk, to do anything, surely they thought he would never walk. He could never even hope to run. This young determined man, Dr. Glenn Cunningham, ran the world's fastest mile. On June 16, 1934, Glenn Cunningham ran the mile in four minutes, 6.8 seconds, breaking the world record at that time. This shows that whatever you create in your mind, when you make your mind up, your life will follow. If you have the will, the desire, it will pull you just like this young man pulled himself across that yard, he was determined. Why? Because he made up his mind. When you make up your mind, against all odds, you can do it. When you have a burning desire to accomplish your goal, even if no one else has done it, you can do it. The only thing that stops you, the only thing that limits you, is you. It's you. The only thing that tells you, I can't make it, it's not even your body. It's not even the limitations around you because where there's a will, there's a way you can find a way. The only thing that's stopping you is you. 
Develop courage, determination. Be like Glenn. Make up your mind and go to work. So if you've taken a hit in any aspect of life, if it's in business, if it's in day trading, if it's in life, it's in relationships, whatever it is, if you were behind the ball, eight ball, so to speak, if you didn't grow up in the right household, you don't have a mother, you don't have a father, you didn't learn disciplines, you got dealt a bad hand in life, whatever it is, be like Glenn, make up your mind, what do you want? And before you know it, against all odds, you will start to crawl and you keep crawling. You crawl so much, you wear your stomach out. And before you know it, you'll start to walk. Against all odds, before you know it, you'll start to run. And like Glenn, you'll set records. All of it is part of the process, folks. I've said it once, I'll say it a million times. Fall in love with the process of becoming great and you'll never be average. Develop the mindset that you need to crush the market, to crush business, to crush life, and you will make it to the top. All right, so this is our live trading and uh, training session that we do. If the trade, we just finished this trade right here, um, and the move was off of that four two seven uh, seventeen area. We caught the full breakdown for the gap fill uh, right at that uh, corresponding SPX uh, level there at uh, four two seven five. So most of you guys took the trade, nice trade. I'll put the profits out and, and trade recap and all that stuff later inside the private channel. But what we're going to do right here, well, let's take a look here. Get some shifting. But ooh, ooh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Give me one second. I got to take a look at this here. Okay. We're going to talk to Mr. Options 1. Uh like I said earlier in the week, we're going to be talking to some of the traders. Okay, we got buy buy boy in there. We're going to be talking to some of the traders getting an idea of where they are in their progress. Some of your, um, some, some of the traders that I've been working with and that's been through, through training, that's been in the Discord for a little time. We're going to be talking with them. I'm just trying to size this up to see if I want to take this trade. You can see the VVP indicator, see all that buy pressure up there, but we got a little sell pressure right there too. So what I'm doing is just doing a little multi time frame analysis, getting an idea. Look at this, getting an idea of what's going on. Um, Man, I got to take that trade. Give me a second here. Okay, we haven't quite come to 42717. That's the right. That's about up in here. I'm up here somewhere. Okay. Well, we can see their sell pressure there. All right. So I'm gonna take this time and we're gonna talk to talk to you and kind of get an idea of uh get an idea of uh kind of your journey so far, spot check. Uh this will be kind of an introductory precursor. This is an example of what a six figure boot camp would entail, right? We'll we'll will we sit down first. I gotta, you know, structure uh the the trading plan and, and et cetera for the person. And then we as a group, we all meet together and do some things. So there's a curriculum that'll be, you know, that'll be coming coming soon. Okay. So uh all right, Mr. Options One man, how you doing? I'm doing great, Katie. And doing I'm, really well. Doing. I'm a, sure you are. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a lot better than I should be at this time. But I, I, I would I would agree <laughs> with that statement. Now, don't get nervous. And and let me tell you something. Say it with me. Normally. Normally. The enemy. The enemy. Is in me. Is in me. Say it again. Normally. Normally. The enemy. 
the enemy is in me is in me. So you are doing well, but you deserve it. You own it. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah, I sure. And do. as you, as you continue to roll here, you build on that. Part of the problem with people in trading, especially when they meet me, is yes, part of it is you 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 from a from a a statistical standpoint, you should not be doing as well as you are with the amount of time and information that you've been able to gather over the over the you know course of time you've been inside the Discord. However, that's when you know you have a a solid system and you're listening and you're actually taking the best setups, right? So can you imagine where you're going to be in three to five years? Uh, I can't. I, I I couldn't imagine a year ago. But yeah, I'm 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 starting to imagine. I'm starting to. You know, humbly right. though, but I'm starting to. My man, and I think that's why we get along so well. Because humbly, I know that you're going to buy me an island. So I appreciate that. <laughs> 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 All right. So let's talk about. Uh, we're going to try to keep this one short, right? Um, and keep this thing. All right. So obviously, guys, anybody, you know, the, you know, we got a nice setup here. I've got some uh, sell pressure. Do you guys see the sell pressure shifting there? Everybody see that? This little pop out there. This this move. So when I see the sell pressure shifting there, the move is off of our level right here, very cleanly. It's off our level, but we haven't broken out of our range here. So in this area, I expect low volume, but the move is up here. So if you're going to get the trades, it's going to be up here. All right. I am not in the trade because I'm running my mouth right now. But now you're getting the breakout, right? But the move is up here. So anyone scalping this, just know that we did not quite reach the first, uh, the area of 2717. That's where we wanted to get our, our. Um, that's where we wanted to get our, our entry there. So anybody scalping it, just be, be mindful. So I'm going to probably, let me just take a look around the market here. I am going to, this is scalpable. This is scalpable. Just be mindful. Yeah. Okay, scalping some puts there. So don't chase there, folks. <clears throat> right. We want this thing to break down past four two seven four seven. <clears throat> so, and I'd like it to. Hit that buy, uh, that sell pressure there, all right? So I'm taking my my position there, all right? Cool. All right, so as long as you guys heard me and you guys saw the call out there, you're good, all right? So where are you going to go? I'm telling you right now, we're going to come to 4276, 427, all right? Lock in some profit. You see it dripping. Trail it. I said we were going to talk, but I, you know, I saw the move. I'm actually frustrated I missed that move. And on top of that, <clears throat> I mean, come on, clear as a bell, baby. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm dying. So I got to get this, right? I got to get that. All right, guys. So just manage your trade, guys. You got the levels, right? You can clearly see where we're coming off of. We'll break it down to. I want this sell pressure pressure here, the sell volume to actuate and for it to drip down. Otherwise, you take your profit. Here's the move, move there. All right. Okay. So now that we, we got that out the way, let's go ahead and uh so talk to me about let's just let's just talk a little bit first uh, about your journey. Now, you've been inside the Discord. Uh you said for you tell me since since October, since the end of October 2020. Oh, you you're coming up on a year. Coming up on a year, yeah. My man. All right, cool. Yeah. Now, what is your what was your trading experience? What was your trading uh environment? What, what, talk to me about you know, before you, you, you found us and then that kind of stuff, like how did the training that you've taken, the experience that you have, what were you doing? Okay. So I'm an old guy. So I'm, I'm in IT just like you. So I've been in IT and, you know, doing long-term investing. I knew we got <laughs> along for a reason. I knew it. <laughs> yeah. So doing some cover calls, cash court puts, you know, over the years, you know, pretty good, you know, making, you know, four, 10 grand a year doing that pretty good, but I always want to day trade. So, uh, I finally, after all the years, mustered up the courage to day trade about two and a half months before I joined the Wealth Wells. And, uh, you know, I, I got hooked in with some basically some signal guys and they were just calling out signals. And and we were pushing 100, 200 contracts at a time, you know, looking for short pops, you know, big wins. And uh, I, I had a good month, first month with them. I had a good month and uh, made a little bit over 20K the first month. 
Second month was disaster. I lost uh, a little bit over 50K. So in the second month. So, you know, those big kind of whipsaw uh, 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 kind of experiences I had. And so after that, so after I was down to probably about 25K, uh, you know, I was like, I can't do this. And uh, yeah, I don't know what it was. It was a sign or whatever. And uh, you popped up on my YouTube feed. Right. So I was like, you know, I just clicked a video and I was like, yeah, let me listen to this guy. I was like, oh, man, it, it sounds a lot better than, you know, what I've been doing. Or when Them jabronis. Came. Right. It, <laughs> your videos actually sound like training. So I was like, oh, man, he's giving me free training. I didn't know anything, but I was like, man, he's giving me free stuff. So I just kept, you know, rabbit holing and looking at all the videos. And then I was like, I think I'm going to join. And then, I, you know, I joined, listened for a couple of weeks. And then I signed up immediately, uh, you know, at, at the tier three level. And, uh, you know, took training, I think, two weeks after that, the first two trainings. And I think I finished up 4.5 sometime in January because uh, that's. Yeah. Yeah. Because right before that, I decided that I was going to do the six months of uh, paper trading. And so I paper traded with Will's Way for six months until uh, end of June and, uh, you know, started my journey. Uh, you know, kind of started over again, and uh, I'm 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 a levels trainer. Just so if anybody wants to know or asking, I, I really you know I, I I think I had a little bit of advantage because I was really green. I didn't really I, I didn't think I knew anything about day trading. I knew about options and investing and all that. Did pretty well, you know. Not gonna lie, you know, I, I've, I've I've done pretty well over the last 20, 23 years. But I just listened to, to you about your levels and did my homework and plotted my levels and paper traded my levels and tested my levels. And just, I just stuck to my levels and I got my levels to a point where I just trust them and I just trade off my levels. I mean, you guys may see me call out, you know, in the chat or type in the chat, you know, I'm, I'm focusing on points and not dollars because I'm, you know, really trading ES now, but I'm really trading off my levels, uh, keying off my levels, taking profit off my levels, watching them really close, you know, pullbacks, you know, the, the whole like everything you say, I, I'm doing it, but I'm doing it around my level. So, you know, that's that's kind of my story. My man, my man. Yeah. And <clears throat> that's a bit a major part of let me let me just give me a second. I got to I got to um, I got to do this here. Um, all right, guys, so lock in some profit here. You, you have the target. Everyone should have. Uh, so everyone should uh should have been able to get some some money on this um you know all right uh, so i'm just kind of giving you an exactly what's going on boom you see that there see that there everyone yeah all right so i mean so you know this is I an mean, excellent example right of reading i mean this is Today could be for some people. If you played this tray right here, you should be. It, it could be a six-figure morning. Now, Geo probably yeah, he probably took all of this. I, I'm running my mouth. I didn't, but we got that. I'm happy, but and I and I got a good bulk of this, so I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about that. Um, and that's it. So it'll put me at four, four trades this morning, right? I think four. One, two, three. Yeah, about four trades this morning. So, um, all right. So let me just type this up here, everyone. There we go. All right, lock in some profit. All right, cool. Okay. All right. So, um, you know, I'm I'm number one. I'm proud of you, right? And I think that uh, you know we got a we got. We got a long way to go still in getting you to uh, the levels that I think you can get to. So let me ask you, where do you want to go? Uh, you know, I was, it's funny. I was looking back at uh, training zero and zero one and you had us write down, you know, our goals or whatever, you know, but my goal is to trade full time and, and, and make $750 a day. That was my original goal, but I've since surpassed that goal. Eh. And uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would yeah, say I'm gonna tell been, you three words, man. <laughs> three words. You know what I'm gonna tell you, right? Three words. Raise your, your standards, standards, man. You gotta expect more. Be better, do right. better. You'll have right. better. You'll be better in this thing. All right, go ahead. Sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> and so um, you know, um, you know, I'm 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 just kind of listening to you. Um, you know, if if 
if you say I should be shooting, you know, for 100 K in a month, you know, that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been focusing. And right now I'm I'm really close. I, I'm, I think I'm going to get it this month. I'm about at 92 today. So I think I'm going to get it uh, by the end of this month. I should be. Would okay. you look at that? There's yeah. other people in the discord doing six figures a month from the training and Katie ain't the only one. Would you look at that? Interesting. All right. So I'm really glad you, you know, you brought it up. Right. And um, I want to say, let's break that down. Look at that baby. How you like them apples. Love it. Love it. Don't you love this stuff, man? I love this stuff, man. I love it. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wee. All right. Um, you know, yeah, BBP ain't no joke, man. It ain't, I'm trying to tell <laughs> folks, man. <laughs> look, look, I'm just over here eating my chips, trading, <laughs> you know, like, Hey, listen, it's the truth. And, um, you know, it took me a while. You guys know that it took me a while to even show my face. And it took me a while to really, cause you know, I'm private relatively. I mean, I'm an open book for, for the most part, but you know, you want to protect the people that you love and that kind of, and there's a lot of idiots, you know, that how that goes. But but I realize you can't help. I cannot help people the way I really want to help people, the right people. I can't help them until I really get down in the weeds with them. So, you know, that's why the indicators are out. That's why more training, granular training. We're filling in gaps. And um, I'm, some of my training as we go, certainly those boot camps, there'll be uh, there'll be some live components there right now. You know, some folks in the discourse say I got a face for radio. So, you know, I'll. I'll take that. But the idea here is to give it, give it to people in a way that they can digest it and understand. So um, now with your trading, uh, I personally, yes. If you're asking me, where should you be? Yes, you should be. This discord is not designed for $50 a day, right? Now I think that some people, and it's, let me put this out there. It's okay. If you do that, anybody listen to this, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. You got to start somewhere. I was there at one point, no doubt about it. But it's not designed to do smaller capital like that, right? It's designed for people to make a living. Now, he here's what I'm saying. Whether we admit it or not, most people say to me, I want to quit my job. I want to day trade full time. They're not prepared for the work, but they say that. Well, you know, if you want to make some money, you're going to, you know, full time and you quit a job, you know, middle class, right? You're going to come in around that 200K, whatever, I guess. I don't know. So that's 20 grand a month. So I need to get you, I need to get somebody around that understanding how they're going to, you know, get to the next level. Right. So, all right. So give us some things that you did along the way. Um, although you, you know, you had a little experience in the market. Give us some things you did along the way to kind of temper yourself. Um, I know that that didn't come without losses. So can you highlight maybe a loss here or there and how you handled it in order to still stay on track? Uh, well, yeah, you know, I I, I really, my, you know, I came in here with a big loss. So I was thinking at first I was thinking, OK, I'm going to make it up quick. And then, um, you know, that didn't really work. And I think. Uh, you know, I was kind of breaking even before I started paper trading. And then I had, I had a big loss one day and it was, uh, for me, it was about five grand one day. And, and I just felt like, okay, I'm not really listening to the training. I'm not, I'm, you know, uh, old habits or bad habits. I'm just, you know, I'm just wishing and guessing and, you know, throwing contracts at a position and saying, OK, if it moves here to here, then I'll make this. And that's, you know, that's not really trading, of course, if it just moves here, you know, but that's not trading. Right. Yeah. And so I just had to really, you know, I heard the paper trade. Well, I, I, that just kept, you know, in my mind and, you know, DAC. And so I just really say, look, I'm just going to paper trade the wealth, wealth way. I'm not going to worry about the money. I'm going to size down and I'm just going to focus on successful trades and my entries were all over the place my exits were all over the place and so i just for me i'm a process oriented guy so i just literally had to write it down and i broke broke it all down into sections you know entries exits uh staying in trades recognizing trades for you get and i just worked on each thing bit by bit over the six months and you know before i know it i was now size way down and i was making 50 100 
200, 300, 500. When I got to $500 a day, I was like, wait a minute, I'm, I'm sized super way down. I was like, this is like a $5,000 day, $5,000 day at normal size. And that hit me. And I just kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. And I was like, I think I may have gotten something here. And, uh, yeah, like I say, I was brand new. I didn't really have a lot of experience day trading. So it, I was deficient at a lot of things. And I just worked on paper trading every day. Yeah, nice. Um, we continue to break down. So let me explain this real quick, guys. Um, I, I have no intention of getting out this trade. This is just a monster day. Um, monster. So, uh, you know, we're talking here, but I, it's the first one of the first times I'm talking, running my mouth and making money at the same time. <laughs> I don't think people understand that when you're in a discord, you actually, or when you not, you know, you're, you're one trading, you actually give up money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think definitely. people realize. Huh? I see. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they realize it. Oh, just, who's this guy? Listen, man, I'm giving up money to talk right now. I could, I could easily just trade every trade, but anyway, well, that's another discussion. I don't want to come off as, you know, you know, but, but uh, what, what are we looking at? Let's get some. So, so, the sale pressure from the Wealth Wells volume profile, I can see there's a lot of it. So I know that when I come through my area, my first target here, right, and we we hold, I know that th once this actuates, it's going to blow. So this is the re reason why we lock in profit in that area and we just let it let it do its thing. So this right here, you know, we come above that area. Obviously, we didn't. That's it. So your first target is there. Your second target is as you blow through, you know, to pay attention to this here. The second target is as we blow through there would be here, right? Because you've got some buy pressure there. You blow through that. Your third target on SPX is going to be your low here, right? Right there. And then after that, you keep coming down and it's going to get ugly. All right. So I'd say right here, you know, in this area, yeah, would be your would be your next major target. All right. So right now you should be trailing, right? It should be pretty simple. The call out was made, the signal to lock in your profit, all that stuff is pretty straightforward for everyone. So, right. And see, I'm looking at the buy pressure there, right? And then, you know, you're at. All right. Well, let's, let's look at it. Let's, let me ask you this. All right. Um, if, if, so would you say it's been about, it, it's taking you, I need to get a time frame, right? Well, years, eight months. How long before you started to turn the corner? Uh, me, I started to turn the corner. I would say, yeah, around eight months or so. I really started to turn the corner around eight months. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Good. I, so I, when I, I really started to get that confidence and everything about eight months. Yeah, that's key. So when you hear me say three to five years. Do you think that that is realistic for the average person? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely realistic. And it's not really a long time if you think about it. Because like not I say, all. you know, if, 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 if you're really starting to come yourself eight months to a year with confidence and, know, you know, feel like you know what you're doing and all that. I mean, you think about, OK, three years is when you really start to learn how to trade because I'm I really don't know a lot. I don't feel like I know a whole lot. I'm just sticking to certain principles and mm -hmm. you know they're profitable. I can't wait until I'm able to layer uh you know one or two or three more things uh, mm -hmm. uh on top of this, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna get very ugly. Very, very ugly. Um in a good way. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, cool. Cool. Yeah. And and that's you know it's nice to hear from an, you know another trader, uh, someone who's you know been trading and so so the here's the idea. Now I, I I'm gonna now wrap your brain around this, all right. What if when you you, know, you learned how to trade, and six figures a hundred k was the minimum you'd pull in per month, and then what if you learn how to trade and, and then I could show you not every not every day, but on certain days or months, you pull in seven figures. Can you imagine that? Barely, honestly, barely, <laughs> <laughs> barely. Let's stick around. <laughs> stick around. Stick I mean, around. I see a pathway to it, though. I see a logical. It's a logical pathway to it, right? Mm -hmm. It makes sense, but mm -hmm. man, yeah, takes time. Takes I've never time. Never thought about that, though. Yeah. Yeah. It takes time. What's the difference? And then we're going to wrap up in a minute here. 
Um, maybe you guys have some questions. We'll take a little couple of questions uh, in the Killer Wells private channel. But what's the difference, Mr. Options One? Now that you're, you're hitting your success here, and I'm, I'm, man, I'm proud of you guys. Happy with that. Um, um, it's actually, you know, I'm working with 50 people to get them to six figures per month, and those six, those 50 people will then move to six figures per, you know, week and then day and etc. And just show you some six and seven figure strategies in a boot camp. That's that's the idea here, right? And to work with me on those levels, you have to have taken training. And you have to apply, right? You got to be humble, number one, but you have to apply. Now, I'll tell you a secret. I don't know everything about the market. I don't know everything about you. Do you ever hear me debating with people when they comment on YouTube? Or, you know, when they come into the Discord and they want to say about their harmonic patterns, do you ever hear me arguing with them? No. No, I, I don't. I don't argue with them. Now, it's not that I know everything. I know what I know, and I know on like uh, as as sure as I understand and know the back of my hand, I know it's successful. I know it is a profitable system and I know it is the proper way to trade. I know it. I am thoroughly convinced and I've seen it and I understand it and I know it. Does that mean that there are other ways to trade? Oh, I'm sure somebody somewhere is making money off of uh, SMA crosses or uh, cup and handles or hall moving average or TTM squeeze or the strat. I'm sure somebody's making money off of that stuff. I personally think or supply and demand, right? Lagging indicators. I personally don't regard those. I think they're trash. That's my opinion. But somebody somewhere, but the overwhelming majority is failing at that stuff for a reason. It's because mathematically, statistically, those things do not yield the, the results that you want consistent, consistently. So when someone comes at me, I just, in my mind, they, they're unaware. They just, all right, they, they don't understand, right? So, you know, I'm saying that to, to say that I do not know everything in the stock market and neither do I want to. I don't want to be on Bloomberg. I don't want to be on Squawk Box talking about stocks every day unless I'm talking about what I want to say. What I want to do is come out of the market every single week and month, six and seven figures. To do that, you have to understand the fabric of the market. PT Matt, give me a second here, guys. PT Matt, <laughs> trail this thing here, right? You see, we got the, we got, there's buy pressure sitting there, guys. So this is, we've hit multiple targets. This is it. Okay. This is it. Anything lower than that. Uh, and it's going to happen. What time is it? Backside of the day. Okay. All right. All right. So anyway, does that make sense? Am I making sense to you? Yeah. Crystal clear to me. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. We got a couple questions, right? Somebody said, where do you apply for the next 50 people? Uh, I'll let you know that in the private channel, right? You'll, you'll have all the details for my boot camps, right? Mr. Options 1, Options Karma said, what is your favorite setup? That's a good question. Yeah, that, that, that is a good uh, question. Um, my favorite setup? Ah, uh, my favorite setup, I would say, is my levels. But I like the doji setup, too. But honestly. No, she doesn't mean, I, she doesn't mean my setup. She just means like. Yeah, oh, if it's a level setup. break, oh, yeah, just setup. what do you like? Yeah, me, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm more, I feel like I'm more of a breakout, breakdown type trader. So I think my mm -hmm. levels suit me best yeah. in that regards. But yeah, for me, um, um, I tighten up my levels, uh, once a week, minimum, sometimes two, three times a week, make sure I'm confident and I'm playing my levels. So I am definitely playing my levels. Especially breaking down through my levels, breaking up, you know, through my levels when mm -hmm. I have volume. Uh, yeah. That's that. That is my favorite setup. I, I am, I am confident, and I'm holding that. Yep. I am holding and, 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 and the beauty the of video, that is, you you can. Oh, I'm sorry. There was a delay. I was sorry, say, I didn't cut you off. Oh no, I was just going to say, and, and and with the volume profile, and I'm a volume profile guy. I mean, it just suits me and the and the BB, BBP indicator. It it helps me hold to my levels because I can look at the volume profile and it's matching up with my levels. I'm holding. That's yep. it. I am holding. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost cheating. <laughs> yeah, it really. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, man, right? Step, delete, forget the rest, mess with the best. Right. Right. So I'm and, the same way. Go ahead. And honestly, I, you know, I mean, you know, I, I know we're just talking here, but honestly, I would say build confidence. I mean, what helped me really is build confidence to my level in paper trading. 
Like, like really, really tighten up your levels, trust your levels and paper trade. And I know it's really slow uh, to think about that sometimes when you paper trade, but it'll pay off because six months I was just plotting along. And then literally uh, two months into trading, it's like, bam. I mean, it, I just made all the money that I thought I was going to make this year, literally in three months. Great. And so it, it's worth it. So you don't have to be in a rush. Uh, you know, if you if, if if you get your strategy down and you get consistent and you get really confident in what you're doing. Yeah. Now you're uh, using Ninja. Are you in Ninja? Yeah, I'm All using right, Ninja. Cool. So the beauty of that is this is what I'm trying to, you know, we, I'll use this as an example in a teaching moment here. If you understand my hammer play, anybody that understands it, you'll know. But I won't train it on it right now. But this barely this this does meets the qualifications of a hammer now <laughs> here's our level so once i break down past this level the beauty of anybody but the futures and ninja from our futures training as well anybody that has ninja knows if you get your break with volume right you don't have to worry about ever losing money if you put your stop in a specific area in the futures unless there's low volume you ain't getting filled unless that that price <clears throat> is touched. Like you can be down here, you ain't getting filled up here. So if you put your stop in an area where you've locked in profit, you can just leave it alone and put your take profit at your level and just, you're done, you're done. So <clears throat> when Mr. Options One talks about level to level, I have the same ideology, the same methodology with options. I simply allow the break before I move my stop and I'm taking profit at my levels. I'm not worried are we can you get can you get a retracement? Yeah, you could, but how often does that happen? You have to build confidence and you have to build experience, readability in your levels in the market, and that takes time. Anybody that tells you otherwise is either lying, they don't really know, or they're a jabroni. I'm telling you. Oh, you can just make a million dollars tomorrow. You could, and you could also lose it tomorrow, too. All right. All right. So we'll wrap up. Um Options one, any questions for me, man? I didn't even ask you if you have any questions for me. This is a, a, a trading and a training session. I mean, we went to the bank. This is a larger move than the first move, so I'm happy with that. But you got any questions? Uh, no questions. Uh, you know, just uh, should I just keep doing what I'm doing? I'm just yeah. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm in, you know, I'm, I'm in no hurry to change up here at all. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. 92K. And we've got how many days we got left in the month? We're not going to rush you by any way. We got three days, left, two days left, yeah, two yeah, days left. We ain't rushing. Days, yeah. Yeah. So if you don't hit it, no big deal. We got next month. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, this is, this is really good. And so the goal is just consistency, man. So yeah, proud of you. Keep it up. Um, You know, we'll be tracking you and um, pushing you towards your goals and uh, giving you now, once you start getting to the next level, there are some things you have to adjust for sure. Cause when you start, um, if, if you want to stay at that level, then you keep doing what you're doing. But if, when a person starts to go to a little higher profits, their position size may adjust. So the drawdown may adjust all those things. And so you have to really be ready to stomach that and, or make sure that you, um, you, you know, you, you hold to your targets, but you manage the trade. All right. Let me see here. Okay. Scott says, how do you guys figure out how many contracts you're trading with? That depends on your money. That depends on your money, yeah. right? It, it, it flat out. That depends on your account and your money. But the beauty of it is, with any account where, where there's options or options or um, futures, you can build it up. You can you can build it up. So that that depends on you, right? Once you get to a certain threshold, I recommend folks if you're doing options to switch over to SPX, right? Better taxes, lower commissions, right? larger moves, right? But that's only when you need to hold from level to level. If you're so scared, then that SPX may not be for you. You you may need the increment, uh, the incremental movements, the smaller movements of a SPY, all right? Um, what, do, he's trading ES. He's, he's, he posted like all the time. You're trading ES, yes? Yep, yep, ES. He's trading ES, trading ES. All right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's trading ES for sure. For sure. I mean, any any day trading, you're not avoiding capital gains. So it's just, it's the same. It's just that with SPX, you get you get a little bit of you know bonus there, right? Any anytime you you don't avoid capital gains. This is not financial advice. This is not 
you know, stock or, or rather um, 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 tax advice, you know, consult your, your tax consultant or your profession or your tax professional or your, um, you know, money manager or what have you. But, you know, anytime you're, you're doing anything that you know, falls underneath that capital gains or in that capital gains uh, parameter, you're going to have to pay taxes on it higher. So. All right, man. Well, listen, let's get back to trading, uh, trading guys. I got about another 30 minutes left in our morning session. We got some six significant profits here. I'll put that in the KD's trades. It's been a pleasure. Um, yeah, man. Okay. I'll see you later, man. Thanks. All right, man. See you.